In recent weeks, there's been a lot of speculation about the ally of woman. Just who is the ally? Fans, as we promised you earlier, right now, let's find out. Here's woman and her ally. Everybody's been wondering, who is it that I chose to stand beside me? Who is it? What is his name? Who is the man? The man that did the job for me. He was rough enough. He was tough enough. And he, he got it done. He got what I wanted done. His name is Mr. Kevin Sullivan. I knew all along that the only one that could bring me back, bring me back from exile, and I want everybody to listen. During my exile, Abu Dhabi himself took me to the pyramid and gave me the betel nut to chew on. And as I chewed on the betel nut, and as the energy traveled through my body, he took me back to the Hall of Memories. And whether you believe it or the people out there believe it, you listen to this real clear. It isn't evil versus good. It is evil versus evil. Now it boils down to this. I am his yin to his yang. I am the night to his day. I am the moon to your sun. There's two evils, you and me. I am the ultimate, and you are as black as I am. It has to be consumed. Your karma is as bad as mine. Anybody that falls will fall because of your karma. What happened to your sister, I had nothing to do with it. It was your karma that brought it on. Anybody that's around you, that says to you, are on your family head. I'll make this perfectly clear. I will miss this time, and you and me and this evil will destroy your evil. You know, said in the capture of a bag, when a woman came to me and said, I want to make an impression on professional wrestling, I said, a woman can't do it. Because you don't know anything about women, because they are the most vicious of the species. She told me about how the woman lying goes out and hunts for the whole tribe. <laughs> you know, woman, you know what interests me about you? Yeah. One thing, money, and money I'll take. I loved it when I used his head to shine my boots. You don't know, you're only the part of the plan. Doom is coming for you. I'll submit Doom. <laughs> You are. Do you think you're gonna save everybody? Do you think you're gonna save everybody that ever came to Florida? You better save yourself and you can't buy boy cages. It's right up my alley because I'm a 13th step of a 13th pyramid. When I ate the cosmic cookie, brother, it changed me for good. <laughs>
spot that you have has always been your children. You're a concerned parent. You don't want to see your child hurt. Well, your fears and your dreams are going to turn into a nightmare because a Buddha Dean has told me I'm going to hurt that kid real bad. Well, let me tell you something. I was taken by her poutine to the closet of anxiety where I took the cosmic cookie and went to the Amazon River of my mind where I met Oz, the keeper of the key. And he told me now the final stages are set for the war with the family because now they know. They know now that I am going to do something horrible. Because you're the one that pushed me over this line this time. You see, I put a deal when he strapped me to the tree of woe. And people plucked at my skin. It was all to make me stronger. Because the horrible thing now is this. I'm not taking any prisoners now. Like an E pro Malaysia at an Indian picnic when there was feasting and rejoicing and the haze put an Indian to sleep and he didn't arise again. No prisoners, no prisoners. No prisoners. I can't do all my violent acts anymore on TV. But you know, my friend, Mr. Bottle, my partner right here, I have done some horrible things in the past, but I am going to nip this conspiracy right in the butt. I became king by killing a king, and the only way you become king is to kill a king. I'm gonna stay on the throne, and I guarantee you. The one that escaped from me, the sheep that left the fold. This time, I'll bring you back with a slit throat.